Tanks are undoubtedly a big part of the current war in Ukraine, where both Russia and Ukraine are utilizing a big amount of them to fight the other side. But the footage of actual tank-on-tank -tank combat appears to be extremely rare, which is surprising considering that, as I already said, both sides operate quite a sizable fleet of tanks. The first tank-on-tank -tank video where you could see both sides came a little bit over a month ago, which is somewhat surprising since the war has been going on for 7 months at that point and the number of tanks on both sides has reduced quite a bit. But nevertheless, we got it, and I already covered it in a video, if you want to check it out. But since then, there have been apparently several tank-on-tank -tank duels, captured on camera by drones since that video came out. First video appears to be a tank duel between a Russian T-72B3 and a Ukrainian T-72M1. For those who don't know, T-72B3 has a thermal sight, and the Ukrainian T-72M1 does not since it's a tank from the 80s. So it kind of makes sense that the T-72B3 wins this duel. In the video description, it states that the Ukrainian tank came under fire from the Russian T-72B3 and was then finished off by artillery, which made the crew abandon the tank. And when you watch the video, it might really appear like that is the case. When I first watched it, my reaction was, wow, strange for such an old tank to survive so many hits. But I believe this video has been heavily edited and I believe that no tank on tank battle took place here. Hear me out. The first part of the video is T-72B3 shooting at the tank, while it is also getting shelled by artillery. The tank gets hit by the T-72B3 and starts smoking extensively. But then the video cuts and there is no smoke at all. And when the tank gets hit and the crew starts abandoning the tank, you can see the gun is getting elevated the hatches remain open and the crew gets away. At this point, there is a little bit of fire on the tank, but it's not smoking a lot at all. Now, if we go back to the first part of the video, we can see that the gun is completely elevated and the hatches appear to be open. And the first part of the video, before the T-72 even gets involved, is footage of this Ukrainian T-72 coming under artillery fire and trying to move away from it. What I believe actually happened here is that the tank was actually struck by an artillery shell, fuel tank and maybe some other components caught fire from it, which prompted the crew to abandon the tank. Then, Russians probably brought in the T-72B3 to finish off the tank. It appears to have shot it with some APF-SDS shell, since there is a big spark when the tank gets hit, which is a common effect for APF-SDS hits. Russians then heavily edited the video to make it seem like a tank duel took place, since it obviously sounds much better that a Russian superior tank took out a Ukrainian inferior tank for the propaganda, rather than it was a good hit from the artillery. But just like in many other cases we have seen in this war, the tank was probably taken out by the artillery. There is a slim chance that the T-72B3 took out the tank beforehand, but if that was the case, I believe they would have recorded it doing that, just like they did afterwards when it finished the tank off. But I am glad that the crew of the T-72M1 managed to get away from the situation alive. Next video is an ambush video. A Russian tank, which appears to be a T-80 tank, based on the big fording tube on the back and its fast reverse speed, is setting up an ambush on a Ukrainian tank, which is stated to be a T-64 tank, but I am not 100% sure since the quality of the video is extremely poor, but it is very likely a T-64. Now, the Russian tank commander does know where the Ukrainian tank is, since the drone operator probably already let him know. So they have a massive advantage in this situation. They also probably know that the Ukrainian tank is looking away from them. When the time is right, the Russian tank moves slightly forward and takes a shot at the Ukrainian tank, actually hitting the side armor at a pretty steep angle and penetrating it, which makes me think that the APF SDS shell was also used here. And when the tank turns, we can see the exact spot where the projectile penetrated, since the fire is coming out of the hole. Based on the placement of the shot, I believe it went through the right side fuel tank and into the ammo rack, engulfing the entire tank in flames. The fuel tank would have also explained the initial fireball when the tank gets hit. But this is not a tank duel either, this is clearly an ambush where the Russian tank had a huge advantage. That being said, this is technically a tank on tank battle, and war is never fair, and sadly, it appears that the crew of this tank didn't manage to make it out. And the last video appears to be a Ukrainian T-64 taking out some Russian tank. Now, there is no combat caught on this video, 
All we can see in this video are two Ukrainian T-64s and two abandoned or damaged Russian tanks, where then one of the T-64s takes a shot at one of the Russian tanks. Now, did the tank battle take place here? I have no idea. The Russian tank in the back is not smoking or anything, but has its hatches open, which would suggest it has been abandoned or it has been knocked out a while ago. But at the same time, just before the T-64 takes a shot at the other Russian tank, we can see, for a split second, a man running away from it, which would suggest that the tank was taken out fairly recently, maybe just before the video started. But at the same time, there appears to be a smoke grenade thrown next to the tank. The guy was maybe hiding in the trees next to the tank and threw the grenade in order to run over to the other side when he saw the enemy tanks approaching. But the smoke grenade could have also been launched from the tank prior to it getting knocked out. Now, at the very beginning of the video, we can see infantry dismounting from the infantry fighting vehicles on the road, which could also suggest that the T-64 crew relayed the information about the enemy tank to the infantry fighting vehicles and the infantry dismounted to take up fighting positions. But they could have also just let them know they found knocked out tanks or abandoned tanks and the infantry decided to take up fighting positions anyway. It is simply impossible to tell. The description provided with the video doesn't help us much either, all I could found is Ukrainian tank destroys Russian tank, which is pretty obvious. Now, did it take it out in combat or just decided to provide a killing blow? No idea. It could have been just like the Russian video recorded for propaganda reasons. I really don't know. The problem here is that, since there is no footage of what happened beforehand, we can only speculate on what exactly happened here. There are also a lot of videos where the uploading site claims is a tank on tank video, but in most cases we cannot see the other tank in those videos, it is usually just a tank getting knocked out. In many cases, the videos show abandoned tanks getting destroyed, which of course is not a tank on tank battle. The only tank on tank duel we have a video of, where you can clearly see both sides, is the one I covered a month ago, of a Russian T-80 destroying a Ukrainian T-64 tank. But who knows, with so many tank on tank videos coming out lately, maybe we will get to see another real tank on tank duel captured on camera, and if that happens, I will make sure to cover it. But if there is something to be taken away from this video, don't believe everything that is written or shown. Videos, just like the Russian one, could be heavily edited to present a certain scenario that probably never took place. So please take extra care when you see that kind of footage. That would be all. If you like my content, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.